you know, I just finished my conditioning workout, but I'm a little disappointed right now. Actually, I'm hot! Not hot as in temperature, but hot as in I'm pissed. Because uh, I always finish my conditioning workout. In fact, I always finish my lifting workouts with the sauna. And I always rely on the sauna to really to finish it off, you know, to, to really sweat and detox and, and get a really good, you know, just sweat. And uh, I walk in there after my one hour and one minute of cardio today. Yeah, a little, little tough to get through. I was a little on the tired side today. Uh, but I got through it. So I wanted to finish off with a sauna like I always do. I walk in there immediately. I said, man, it's like 50, 60 degrees cooler than it normally is. So I look at the temperature gauge. Sure enough, it is. I think it was like 160 or something. I don't know. I like to get up to like 240, 260 Fahrenheit. So, you know, there's a little trick here on the wall up near the ceiling there's this little metal device it's actually like a it's a temperature gauge or reader it, it reads the temperature in the room so if you throw water on it and cool it down then it thinks it's cooler in the room then it, therefore it si sends a signal to the furnace the heater the rocks to kick off more heat and it takes you know 10 15 minutes for this to actually happen it gradually gets warmer and warmer well i sat there for 15 20 minutes and it wasn't moving in fact i think it went the opposite way it was getting cooler so something's messed up with it but anyway disappointed couldn't finish the workout with a real solid sauna um is what it is so there you go there's my story all right till next time be well take care talk to you soon